Congratulations on completing the task and on doing a simulation of the gambler's ruin problem. In the level 1 Python project that you should work on during the remainder of this week, you are asked to explore this problem more fully. Before you get onto that, however, I would like you to complete one final Glockley exercise, as what we have done on simulating Markov chains in discrete times in this exercise thus far has been a little limiting. In particular, if you look at the chain that you just simulated, most of the states have transition probabilities to their neighbouring states that are identical. In particular, the probability of taking a step forward is always p, and the probability of taking a step backwards is always 1 minus p. If you think about again again about the Markov property, however, there is no requirement for this sort of symmetry in our transition matrix. In fact, we've already seen a number of examples of transition graphs where the transition probabilities between the various states are all different, as shown here. In this final exercise, then, I would like you to consider a Markov chain that is similar to the one you have just simulated. Now, though, I would like the probability of a transition from state n to state n plus 1 to be equal to n over n minus 1, where m is the number of states in your chain. For the chain shown at the top of this slide, which has five states, the probability of a transition to st from state 1 to state 2 is thus 1 quarter. The probability of a transition from state 2 to state 3 is a half, and the probability of a transition from state 3 to state 4 is 3 quarters. Obviously, if the probability of transitioning from state n to state n plus 1 is n over n minus 1, and if the transition graph is as shown at the top of this slide, then the probability of a transition from state n to state n minus 1 must be m minus 1 minus n over m minus 1, because each row of our transition matrix must sum to 1. For the graph shown at the top of this slide, the probability of a transition from state 3 to state 2 is thus a quarter, the probability of a transition from state 2 to state 1 is a half, and the probability of a transition from state 1 to state 0 is 3 quarters. Hopefully it should be clear how to modify the code that you wrote to complete the previous task in order to simulate a chain like the one shown at the top of this slide that has 10 states, as this is what you will need to do in order to complete this final Blockly task. Good luck.